In this video I will show the tolerances of the damper. Keep a close look at the front uh, of the damper where it's connected to the pedal. You can see play. Just look exactly in the middle of this video and you can see it wobble back and front. It's been like this since the beginning of the pedal sets. Also the ultimate version 1. They use different dampers, I'll show in the end. Now they use a different technique. They have like uh, the connection rod with the hole. There goes a small uh, bushing in there, which is holded by two bolts. Mine came with the uh, fingerprints and was pre-rusted. Here you can see the, the, the sleeve bearing that's holding the, the rod. And you can see there's too much tolerances in there and that's why there's play. Sadly I forgot to mention this in my review, but uh, I think I kinda got used to it. I've had uh, dampers on my previous set before. And yeah, the tolerances maybe were a bit better than this one. And then uh, I also had a problem where they started leaking over time. And they sent me a replacement, which had worse tolerances than the first one I had. So here you have a, an old damper for the Ultimate One set. You can hear it makes the same squishy noise, the fluids inside. And here, yeah, you just had the, the rod going through with some uh, bolts holding it. There was no sleeve bearing inside, so the holes on this one are smaller. But you also could feel in the pedal a tiny amount of play. It would have been nice if the new sleeve bearings would have been a bit thicker, so there are better tolerances in the pedal. But uh, it doesn't affect me too much. But it's another tiny annoyance I wanted to share. And another side note I have to do, in the video where I show the play here, I already put uh, the sleeve bearing uh, full of Vaseline, so it's all filled up, so there's already less noise than default, and a tiny bit less play. And in order of full completeness, uh, also the, the rubber dampers bushings on the old pedal set, uh, especially the green ones I used, since I was using a high pedal force, yeah, when you braked, over time, I don't know, like half a year or so, they would wear down and because of internal failure they would stress out and tear or something and then they would squish uh, like uh, balloons and don't have their original uh, resistance. So you had to ask for replacements from uh, time to time. So I think I have you up to date now and I haven't forgotten anything for the moment. And the next uh, big thing is the Simtrex. Pro Pedal GT, which I'm going to review. So I hope to be seeing you there with uh, new videos and footage of trying them out and reviewing them in the end. Thank you for watching and bye bye.